Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to watch Attack on Titan Season 4, Episode 2. Last episode, we got a glimpse of the Marlians' perspective in the war. So make sure to check out our Discord in the description below. And if you'd like to help support the channel, Patreon link is also in the description below. You'll get early access and other special perks. Now to the anime, Ikimashou! Doesn't he have royal blood? I think he does. He does, the mom. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? He wipes from the front. Ew. I'm joking. <laughs> Ew. 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 I think he forgot. Okay, so... Okay, I get it. So, like, Ymir ate her, his brother, mm -hmm. and then he ate Ymir. So now he has all the memories of what happened. Yeah. Damn. He's flashing back. Yeah, dude, he's unstable right now. That's... He got through too much shit. Oh, she'll, she's gonna die regardless. They see it as an honor, but he doesn't. Yeah. Sees that a curse. They're forced to say that. They probably had to like memorize that. Yeah. If he didn't say that, he would have died. Yeah. Damn! He doesn't even want that to happen to Gabby, but he has to take it in order to like stop it. And he doesn't really want it either. They make it seem like it's an honor to get it, but it's not. Because if you don't get killed, you're going to die eventually. Yeah. Oh, these are the people that weren't... Uh... They have, soldiers. To, they have to go back into like this giant concentration camp. Because the Eldians? Yeah. That's so messed up. Oh my god. Look at this. This is just in game. This is so sad to watch. Come on, just by looking at that, come on, they're just, they're human like you and me, you know what I mean? Like, isn't that crazy? He's gonna die. This is Damn, so this is crazy. Think about this. This is so this sad is like, to watch. It's like, you, you don't want to cheer for these guys, you know? You gotta like, with the Marlins, you know, they're considered bad, but... I still feel bad. But like, the they're... circumstance they're in, they have no choice, you they know what I mean? No they have no choice. Like, them coming back, like... What else can they do? They probably just want to free, like, the Eldians, you know, that are in Marlin territory. They just want, they just want to be treated hum humanely as well, like, equally as everyone else. That's why they're even doing all this, because they're brainwashed to think that if they help the Marlins, eventually they'll like, gain they, the yeah. respect for them and, you know, mm -hmm. live properly. But, like, that's in not, reality, that's not even going to fucking that's happen. That's not even gonna happen. Like, that's, oh my god, this is so hard to watch. Wow. And... I don't know, it's so realistic too, because this it's is very like realistic, yeah. this is like actually things that would happen during war. Yeah, like you would use like another group of people yeah. for your benefit. Uh this is so painful to watch. Like this is supposed to be like the enemies of Paradise, but it's like you feel bad for them, you know, because of the unfortunate mad. circumstance they're in, yeah. you know. 
This is like from the war. It's crazy. That's what they think. Oh my god. That's crazy. Reiner was there too. Think about it. Like, he sees how they live normally. Yeah. Oh my god. He probably had a better time there yeah, than how, what he's doing right now. Yeah, when he was like faking it. Yeah. That's probably why he's so conflicted. Yeah. Savage. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, eating a potato. That's so evil. Is she is he bending on purpose? The things he said made them not sound evil though. Yeah, I think that's what it was. I get it. Who just jumped off the fucking roof? Oh, it's one of the soldiers that were, oh. like, mentally ill. The trauma from yeah. the war? Oh, that's fucked. Are they spying on them? Yeah, they are. They don't trust them. Wow. Oh, they know, too, that they're being listened. What do you think when Reiner... Do you think he actually thinks they're not bad people? I think he's starting to question it. Because when you're in... Because everyone that hasn't been to Paradise yet believes that these people are super evil and... Like, they have this whole narrative of, like, how these people are, like, basically, like, the devil and it's all their fault and they're evil and they don't care about anyone. But when he was there, he... You know, he grew up with them, right? Like, he had mm -hmm. to infiltrate, so he had to pretend to be one of them. So he had at to befriend them. At one point, he thought he was. Yeah, at one point, he thought he was. So I feel like he's starting to question this Marlian narrative of the people in Paradise. Mm -hmm. Like, are they actually as evil as they're saying and everything? Mm -hmm. And also, the fact that he said something like... You know when Falco was talking to him and mm -hmm. he said he has they have to save Galby from going down like this dark path of theirs. And he said you have to save Yeah, her. I think he I think the fact that he doesn't want Galby to inherit it, I think it shows that he's questioning things. Because like you said, like this is receiving the power of Titan is supposed to be like a total honor and everything. Mm -hmm. So why is he saying it as if it's something that think she he, should be avoiding? I think it's because uh, Falco actually likes Gabby. Yeah. And then... Um, no, but I mean like the fact that Raynar said that. Look, he looks back to normal now. It's like he did that on purpose. Do you think he real? Do you think Reiner realized? Do you think Reiner was trying to tell him a message there? I think he was. He's trying to he get was, him to admit. Because at first he, because at first he was like, "No, it's an honor." Then immediately after that, he's like, "Yes, you need to inherit it to get." Yeah, and like it was like a one. It was like a one eighty, man. Like right away. Because I know? feel like I feel like he was trying to like, I don't know, kind of give him a message that what he's thinking is actually right. You know? But he can't really Cause tell Fal Yeah, because but he can't really say it. Mm -hmm. Cause right? Because he, he said, because he said, if I report this, you will, you guys will all be in shit. Mm -hmm. That's what he family. said, right? Mm -hmm. So like, basically saying like, if someone heard you saying this, you will all be in shit. Maybe like warning him he shouldn't say this shit? Yeah, warning him that he shouldn't say this. Oh, yeah, 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 warning him that he shouldn't say that. Because he's right. But, he probably trusts him, right? Yeah. But he's still, like, you know. Yeah, but he's now. also confirming that what you're thinking is what I'm thinking, yeah. too. 
the dark. Do you think so? Yeah, that is. That is. Because the way he said it, he was like, no, it's an honor. And then immediately after, his like kind of attitude towards it completely changed. So I feel like it was kind of like to get him to be a little bit scared first, to realize mm-hmm. like the place he's in, like the stand that he's in, mm-hmm. you know, like the position he's the in. The circumstances? He, yeah, the circumstances and position he's in. He can't say that. Mm-hmm. But also reassuring him that, yes, what you're thinking is actually correct. And, and then, I think that as well. And because then, he immediately after that was saying that he needs, they need to save Gabby from this dark future. So he's, first he's saying that it's an honor, but then now he's saying, referring it to it as a dark future. Mm-hmm. So I think what he actually wanted to say was that it's a dark future, but they can't really say that. It's like kind of giving him that message. Mm-hmm. It's not in, by telling him that he's, he should save Gabby by taking that power, like that mm-hmm. it's a dark future. I think it's telling him like implicitly that getting the power is not actually an honor and being in this position is actually not an honor. Like it's not as how the Marlians are saying it. Why does he need to say that? He already knows. Because they Doctor have to keep, no, knows. they have to keep thinking it is. Galby thinks it is. Gabby oh, thinks it yeah, is. Ga- Oh, is that what he's saying? Yeah, okay. so he, re- I think Reiner realizes that Falco is kind Falco's of... Falco's questioning it? Questioning but Ga- it. But Gabby is not... Gabby is not questioning, not questioning it. Questioning Gabby, it. Is, Gabby is brainwashed. She mm-hmm. thinks that they need to um, defeat Paradis so that they can get their freedom. Mm-hmm. But Falco, he real, he's questioning it. He's real, he's thinking okay. like, is this, she's going to get her life shortened? Like, mm-hmm. we're getting treated unfairly. Like, he's just, he's thinking all of those things, mm-hmm. right? And I think that's also why Reiner wants to kind of give it to him as well mm-hmm. instead of Gabby. Because if they give it to Gabby, she's just going to be a tool. She's, she's never yeah, gonna, she's just going to be a tool. She's not going to question it. She's never going to question what she's doing. Where she, whereas Falco him, it. Falco, he's already questioning it, even though he's not even the one getting it. And if he does get it, he can somehow use it. Maybe he could do something. Yeah, mm-hmm. maybe he could do something or change something. Because so, Gabby is not mm-hmm. going to question it. She's just going to follow Marley, Marley's lead for sure. Mm-hmm. But he's questioning it so i think maybe he's saying like you can rescue gabby from this dark future that waits us so if he takes his power and is able to do something with it maybe it's not just hope. saving gabby you might yeah. save all the Eldians yeah maybe there's well. hope for someone for the Eldians. Mm-hmm. i think reiner is really on edge now because like even during the dinner t- time the way he described them like it was <laughs> clearly not supposed to be he was clearly not trying to describe them in an evil way. Like he tried to be like, he Yeah, these to. devil people eating he, potatoes. But like come on. Like he, he the way he was de- actually describing them did not make that's them sound true, evil true. at all. And that's why like the auntie got like all spooked and that's stuff. That's why I got like, a little confused when, when he was doing stuff. it. I'm like, is he doing that on purpose? Like He's like, he's making it seem like they're like very scary people. He's like, this one's eating a potato. You're like he's trying to keep like this like like serious demeanor on, yeah. but then you know, it makes Gabby like question too. Is like, are they actually bad people? Yeah. It's the aunt. It's the aunt that's telling Gabby like, yeah, they're bad people. Because they have Cause, to think that. Because they've they been don't... abandoned. Like, you know, no, but that's how they see it. Yeah. Well, it's that, but also that they have to view it that way. Otherwise, Marlians are gonna get up all on their ass. Think about it. It's like if you don't believe exactly what they say and like. Oh, yeah, that too. Yeah. Preach what they say. Mm-hmm. Like, if you don't listen and believe everything they say, they're just gonna like kill you off or whatever. Like, you don't know what they're gonna do to them. That's like Fal- Falco. Like, he was scared. He was like, "Oh shit, I said the wrong thing." Yeah, anyway, exactly. he didn't. Even, he didn't even have. He doesn't even have like a. Op- he's not allowed to have opinions. Like, he technically doesn't have any rights. You know, yeah, his life not, is for Marlian. Yeah, basically, you're not allowed to have any opinion on this whole thing. This is, like your opinion is basically whatever the Marlins tell you your opinion that is. That is crazy. That's. I think that's also the thing too, like the ad, even if she knows that what Rain- Reynar is saying is true, mm-hmm. like even if they b- know that the people aren't evil, they still have to say they are. Because they the moment to. you say that they are, you don't know what the Marlins are going like, to do What's the you. point? Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. They have to believe it. And that's why they try to No, like... because they don't know what the Marlins are going to do to them. That, okay, yes. That, that like, as well. Maybe they, like, det- like, maybe they, if you don't, listen to them or like if you the have conflicting opinions yeah they're gonna kill you off like you yeah. don't they don't know that right I, i'm pretty sure that's what they're doing that's why dude this scene this dialogue was just i don't know like it was so bittersweet because it was He's trying to be like, oh yeah, they were the devil. But the way he's describing it sounds kind of like <laughs> he's kind of like he's reminiscing. You know yeah. what I mean? Like the way he's describing, like oh, like 
the girl with the potato and eating, mm-hmm. and they weren't even listening. And then, you know, there was this idiot, blah, blah, blah. Like, it kind of sounds like how you would, like, if you were an adult and you were describing back to, like, when you were a kid and having mm-hmm. fun with your friends, mm-hmm. like, what you would be, like, how you would describe your childhood yeah. and, like, your childhood friends and stuff it's like just that. He has, like, a serious demeanor. Yeah. Serious. Do you, yeah. Do you think Zeke is up to something? Because he doesn't want them to listen. He doesn't want that Marlians to hear what he's saying. Yeah, for that last bit. Yeah, because he he, he realized, knows he, he knows too. That they were I think Reiner knows too yeah. that they're listening as well. Yeah, I think they're trying to plan something. Cause he gathered everyone in mm-hmm. that room, but then he realized that they were listening. So I don't think he said what he actually wanted to say. Yeah, that, that's true, and they didn't show us either. But it's like, okay, let's say whatever he says. Do you think that will benefit the Eldians that are stuck here? I don't know. Cause. Paradise ain't gonna accept them, you know what I mean? Like, what kind of thing can they go, like, like, go behind, like, the Marlians' back? Like, what would benefit them? Like, they're not gonna take these people who, like, the Eldians hate the people on Paradise Island, you yeah. know? Like, they're not gonna take, that's not an option, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, what, what's the point of going, you know, on the back against them right now? At, at this point, where Zeke only has, like, a year and, like, Ryan is, like, nearing his end as well, it's mm-hmm. like, why are they trying to hide with this plan? Like, what, what can they gain from this? Like, they say they're going to go get the founding titans and, you know, control all the other mm-hmm. titans, but for what? For themselves? Are they going to use this against the Marlians? Oh, maybe. Could that be, like, a strategy? But I don't understand why they would... Because the Marlians technically more... can't even use any of the titan powers. It's still the Eldians who use it. Mm-hmm. That could be... But why? I don't know. I feel... I'm not sure. I'm not too sure if Zeke is trying to go against Marlian. Marlia just because... Because he, he did all... He yeah, did all he's that the one that, like, started all... Like, not started, but he was, like, the one that... Actually, yeah, he is the one that kind of started all this. Because he was supposed to be <laughs> the did, one he, that was he supposed tattled. to... He Yeah, he was supposed to be the one that infiltrates and everything. But then he ended up betraying. So... Yeah. I don't know. I'm not too convinced that he's trying to betray Marlia, but he's up to something. I'm not sure what. Yeah, that's though. what I'm trying to like think. Like, what would he do that would that he can't let the Marlians know, yeah. but would benefit his people? And like when Reiner was having a flash, a flashback with the kids, that was him. Yeah, that was him. I think it was Annie beside yeah, him. Yeah, it was Annie. I recognized Annie. Yeah. Yeah, See, Annie, Annie's on the right. Yeah, and then I think that's Bert. Is that Bertholdt? Yeah, yeah. Which I, one's him? Uh, I think that's him. And, and, then the, that's, and that's the friend, right? Yeah, that's the brother. That's the brother that went that got killed brother. by Ymir. Yeah. They were set. I think they said uh, Reiner was gone at age twelve. Yeah. Because the aunt is um Reiner's mom. Yeah, so it's basically the same age as like yeah, Galby so, and their. So he now. sees it like they're gonna be sent away. I think no. he's starting to, s- yeah. I think what he's, I think he's flashing back and starting to think because it's happening again. Yeah, because it's happening again. Because at this point, he probably had the Titan power passed down to him as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And now it's his his end, exactly. and now it's the new cycle that's going to continue. Yeah, exactly. That's why he had like this flashback. Wow, dude, Reiner has gone through so much shit. Like, it totally makes sense that he's totally unstable right now. He's, like, the last person in this group that's still here. And it's just... Yeah, and, like, if you think about it, they sent them when they were 12. Like, they were super brainwashed. Like, Mm -hmm. you... Like, you know, at 12, you don't really have um, that much of an opinion of yourself. And I feel like whatever other... Someone that's, like, older than you is going to teach you, you, you're you're going to listen, listen, right? Mm -hmm. Because that's just how you were raised and whatever and disciplined to Mm -hmm. believe that. And then I think once he actually went to Paradise Island, and he and hung out with the rest of the people, he hung out with people. them. He real, I think he, as he grew, he realized that it wasn't actually what they were saying. Like they aren't even that bad, you know. They're yeah. also getting attacked inside by yeah. the Titans. Yeah, you but know? he has to believe. He has to believe. He has to believe the Marnians. because he is that like he's from narrative. that that person, you know, from that country. So it's like he has to believe it. Yeah, because if technically if he didn't do anything, he could have just mingled. And just like lived amongst them, 
Yeah. He technically didn't even need to come back if they really didn't want to do anything. Yeah, but there's also like his family and stuff. Yeah, there's that well. too. Like he can't just leave it all behind. That's why it's so he actually knows the truth. Yeah. Like when he was saying on the dinner, like trying to say make him sound bad, but it's not actually that bad. Yeah. So, you think he's hyped? You think he's excited near the end? He's like I have to go back. I don't think he's excited. You think he's bro. excited that he has to I go think, back? I think the reason why he's so on. I think the reason why he's skeptical about going back is because he's starting to question. The he Marley knows what's narrative. gonna happen. So no, I think he's feeling he 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 might feel conflicted. Yeah, that that's the main thing. I, I think that's the thing because he, I don't think he he's seen both sides. And yeah, he like, has I don't, no choice but he has to fight. Yeah, I don't think he's like all for Marlian anymore. Mm-hmm. Like he's starting to question. Yeah, he's starting questioning and like he he's actually showing that he doesn't really you know want to go. With the Marlins, like a hundred percent. Yeah. Like he's just like because before he did, but mm-hmm. now it's like he's not sure, and that's why I think he's a little bit conflicted about going back because like he's going to have to see everyone else and everything again. Yeah. Like, and at the end of the day, they're yeah they escape, but that's because of like the king and stuff escaped over there. Those people that are born there are exact same as him. Yeah. Like in this unfortunate you know situation. Yeah, they just got caught up in these it's... political affairs yeah this is so crazy like you can't really like like you can support Aaron and them but it's like the Eldians here are also suffering they're both, also, suffering. They're both suffering they're both suffering which that's, is so that's unfortunate the thing. Like, it's you, so unfortunate like if you think about it it's it's just all Eldians that are suffering no one else is the Marlins are like yeah whatever Let's Mar- just the Marlins like, don't give a fuck yeah they don't like, really care and like it's so unfortunate too because these people are brainwashed into thinking that somehow if they conquer Paradise, these they'll get their freedom and everything mm-hmm. but that's just like all fucking fake like they're never gonna get that yeah, they're never gonna, they're get, never gonna that. get that but they have to believe because it's like that's the only what, thing that's, that's the, the only, only thing they, they have, have. yeah, yeah they, they have, have nothing else. else they have to just believe in this because mm-hmm. if they don't believe in this what else do they have they don't have anything else yeah oh my god that was, <laughs> Dude, this that was so is... hard that was so difficult this... to watch and wow this, like, they're so real, too. They're showing you, like, the soldiers who come back, you know, they have mental issues now, you know, like, the trauma they went through the war. Yeah. Like, they showed that one of them just, like, commits suicide off the roof. Like, yeah. This, this isn't, like, things that happen, like, you know, once in a while. It's probably, like, constantly, yeah. this is happening. Yeah. This is, like, real. This is, this was just so real. That's why, I, like, when they started, when they, um, that's why when they met up with their families again, I was, like, tearing up because I was... Like, oh my god, this is so realistic. Like, these are actual scenarios that would happen during mm-hmm. a war. Exactly. And they were so happy when they got off the train, too, you know? Like, Gabby was like, ah, we're home. But they're home, you would think a free city, you know? Like, you go yeah. through everything. They it was just basically a bring them, concentration. Yeah, camp, lead them yeah. back to the gated area. Open the gate here. You can see your family. You know what I mean? That's so messed up. Yeah. But but she was so happy, you know? They're so happy they're that's back all home. They, that's all they know, though. That's how they've been grown yeah, up. Yeah, that's, like, that's how so they've sad. Grown, and that's how they've been raised. Like, they don't know what it's like to have that freedom, kind of freedom. You know? That's that, oh that's, what, God, that's what's so driving them, too, you know? They have nothing to believe in. They have to do this. Yeah, and they... And the fact that... Ugh, they believe that they can get the freedom. Just... Oh, my God! The Marlins are so fucking evil, man! Like, I cannot... The, yeah, oh using them, mistreating them, and then having giving them this false hope that one day they'll get this freedom and be happy, but it's just never going to happen. Yeah, they either keep controlling them or they'll just kill them off. Like, they technically will never have freedom. And like, even Zeke acknowledges it, actually. He acknowledges that they, them as Eldians are in danger because the Titan power is not as useful anymore. Oh yeah, so when that's gone, like, they don't need the Eldians anymore. Yeah, they don't need the Eldians anymore. They'll just probably, like, wipe them all off. So technically, technically everyone there doesn't really trust the Marlians. Okay, well, I'm super excited for next week's episode. Hopefully they start telling us what they're up to because that's driving me insane. Yeah, like, every episode, they only give a little hint. Yeah. They show you a little bit, but you never get, like, exactly, the full thing. Exactly, exactly. Alright, guys, if you guys enjoyed that video, hit the thumbs up. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that button below. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Peace!